Wow. <laughs> My name is Foster Collins. I'm a junior at Lincoln Southeast High School. And the title of this poem is The Calendar of Grief. My grandma had the most beautiful of handwriting. She would cover her calendar in cursive for every birthday and appointment. They say that when you first begin to feel depression, time doesn't flow like a calendar. It flows in spurts and waves until it doesn't really mean anything anymore. I think my tears began to blur your cursive the first day, September 16th. 2014, a Tuesday. I was just, I was nine days before my 17th birthday, two days before my grandpa's 78th grandpa. Grandpa, who always smiled and said hello every time he saw one of his grandchildren. Grandpa lied. August 30th, a Friday at 310 in the afternoon, I learned through, my, through the tears of my father that grandma died that my grandma, who stood taller than anyone I've ever seen at five foot three, who was still blossoming at the age of 72, who still volunteered at the local elementary school grading spelling test because she never really wanted to give up teaching, died. I never cried so hard as I did that first night without her. I never cried so hard I did that morning after when I awoke from my coma brought on by five sleeping pills when the first four couldn't stop the nightmares and I remembered that for the first time in 17 years she wasn't going to call me and say happy birthday on my birthday and that she was never going to make good on her promise to kiss me on the forehead even if I went climbing on the tables when I graduated. September 15th. No, September 3rd. Five days without my grandma's smile, we held her funeral. Her little Lutheran church could barely hold all the people whose lives she had touched. The funeral home said that she was not supposed to be buried with anything else in her casket, but we still snuck in a bag of M&Ms and a can of beer because those were her favorite things aside from music and her family. September 15th. 2014, the first day in 57 years that my grandpa spent without anyone to say I love you to an earshot. The first day in 57 years that my grandpa spent alone and with only the memories of the woman he first started a fling with in 1957 that never really stopped. The first day in 57 years there wasn't anyone to play him Christmas tunes on the piano in October. The first day in 57 years, he wasn't able to enjoy a cold can of beer watching birds on his patio with the woman he loved. September 15th was the last, was the day that my grandpa smiled and said hello to my family as they said goodbye to him. They say that was the first, that is the first sign. September 16th. 2014, I go over to my grandpa's house, walking the 100-foot pace that separates our two doors. September 16th, I walk in and I see my grandpa sitting there at the head of the kitchen table in the chair that he loved most, Grandpa, who always loved to smile and say hello every time he saw one of his grandchildren. And for the first time, in 17 years, he doesn't say hello to me. <laughs>